What's up guys, this is Mod of Dust Gaming, your channel for fresh Arena of Valor content. And I've got some free time to spare lately. Um, quite surprisingly, we managed to play four or five games each evening with a bunch of players. So you are going to see some Fiber Q gameplay. And we are opening the session with something that is uncommon for my channel. I went with Omen into the jungle. I don't think that this is some kind of crazy pick. Of course, you have seen this before, but I think I've never played Omen in the jungle. Um, that said, I don't really play Omen that often. I think there are around four videos featuring Omen on my channel. Uh, yeah, so far we've got four videos and the last one has been released in 2020 at the end of the year so you guys had to wait for about a year uh, until new omen content was ready on this channel therefore i want to show you a pretty nice game and at the start of each video of course i'm going to share the build I, that i've played with you and as you can see we are going basically on a tank hybrid build with a little bit focusing the attack speed increase with both Scorching Wind as well as Fafnir's Talon. The rest of the build is tweaked around some armor resistance stuff such as the Mail of Pain or for example Medallion of Troy. So this is kind of like a hybrid thing. Um, therefore I went with full damage Arcana. That is my Marksman Warrior build. We're going with a normal attack increase, armor pierce and some movement speed. What you can do to complement the build in a little bit better way is, of course, take the Assassinate out and then put, for example, Guerrilla in because then you are going to have movement speed plus attack speed increase, which is even better. Um, I don't have my Arcana pages divided into these little, 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 little brackets. Um, my other build that I'm playing is a crit assassin build, but then we're going with Atrocity and guerrilla here and i would rather go with some attack damage than crit chances on almond um after this short x course on stuff um, i'm going to show you the enchantments that i've played and as we're going to duel a lot with certain characters you can see desperate duel is the core enchantment and everything else is is more more sort of some utility as we're going with devourer and bone cutter i'm going with here mark of the frost and some acts of sacrifice action i mean you can change that and do that into something like gunslinger that comes in handy as well but this is the build now comes some gameplay i hope you guys are enjoying it if so please hit the like button and let a like here uh, a subscription here Hit the subscription button and the like button. Well, hit both buttons to be safe. And uh, yeah, I would say let's start with some gameplay. Enjoy. All right, guys, as I said, and my hair is drying, um, <laughs> we are in a 5 q And as you can see, there are some names that you might have been introduced in the past on this channel. Um, but it doesn't really matter if I just appear that people will be a little bit familiar with those um we've got something controversial on the top lane there's maganga because we wanted to play two um majors so if you guys are, if you guys want ever want to play with me there is no certain setup you play what you want to play sometimes it works good sometimes it doesn't work good at all we do have these games as well this is a game of that one compartment of course, there are games in the other compartment, but that doesn't matter because it's all about the pure enjoyment of this beautiful game. And you don't have to win the game to find it good. So that is the the pre thing that you should keep in mind or that you sh should need to know if you ever want to play with me. It's just about having fun on the lane and having fun in the jungle. So here we go. Uh, Red buff has been invaded, unfortunately. I am focusing on my S1 at the moment. Of course, I should have focused on the S2. It's the spell that's more important. And you're going to see a lot of skill shots being missed because I don't play Omen on a regular basis, as you've already seen in the intro. Um, Omen fans had to wait about a year to get new content on this channel just because I play so many heroes to kind of like get you some current data on heroes without focusing on one specific type of thing. Um, 
yeah, here we go. So, Omen, um, there has been a patch, of course, with the Battlefield 4.0 update. And uh, for you guys out there who haven't spotted the changes with Omen yet, I can tell you that his damage reduction on his S2 has been increased. Um, I could even do some maths while we're doing the Abyssal Dragon here. Uh, -bum 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 -bum. Um, so if you want to know the exact changes, I'm going to do that while not looking on the screen but that doesn't matter because we're doing awesome anyways um yeah the damage reduction has been increased from 40 percent to 50 percent so that you're going to have 70 percent damage reduction at the maximum level of his second ability i think that's a fairly nice improvement 10 percent is always nice and handy and, um, well, unfortunately, our Manganga has been killed, but he, or she, to be fair, she has already retaliated and killed this under other omen um, on the move. So, nothing too bad happened. There's a lot of stuff going on in the middle lane. Now I have been called to arms, and this poor soul doesn't stand a chance against the roaring winds of Hayate. Uh, Hayate is, I guess, one of the better AD carries in the game. We're still going to find out how all the changes in terms of Dark Slayers and Abyssal Dragons, Holy Spirits and stuff has affected the tier lists. Um, as I said, I am about to do some tier lists. Actually, the tier list is going to be the next video. So you guys are going to see this video on a Saturday as I'm pre-recording it right now so that I'm going to release it as soon as it's uploaded that is going to be the release time uh, so it's super super fresh and then this the next video is going to be in German and I decided to 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 to, 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 to uh, I decided to do two different things I'm going to to do one list where I'm going to divide all the characters into their kind of like occupations so i'm going to do one about the middle lane majors i'm going to do one about the junglers where you will find both majors as well as warriors and ad carries of course everyone who has some viable function in the jungle um, i'm going to make these and they are void of dusk preferences so it's gonna be my personal tier list and you might find things awkward um, i will for example, put into account if a character is difficult to play, if I know how to play them, how I do like them in the interaction with the team and all sorts of criteria. And I'm going to discuss that while I am rating that character. So it's basically I'm going to take them, I'm going to pull them to a certain point and then I'm going to tell you what I think about them. Um, what I then thought might come in handy and I would do that for the English speaking people will be some beginners playlist so what i would do i would not make a playlist based on okay look this is like the best warrior for solo queue this is like uh or like my best warrior for solo queue i would do um some tier list where i'm going to put good beginner characters so if you guys are coming back to the game and you haven't got any overview because so many heroes have been released or you have found the game and found my channel and said oh look this is a pretty nice game that i found on the apple or the android store um like the google play store it looked really really nice it looked like wild rift but i just found out that there are different things um different heroes and that the, the, the whole graphics seem to be really appealing um i would personally do some kind of beginners tier list so that you guys or the guys out there who haven't played the game so far get a nice overview on what is the easiest start to get better in the game and that is because of a certain character i mean tell me what you think about it if if you think that this is a good idea or not because we still have some time until i'm going to do the english playlist as i said the german playlist is the next video to come and I have started with the majors. Um, I need to find out how I am going to do the whole mechanics with twisting stuff 
around, but I think we can make that work. Now the dog is going away with his plushy toy. Um, okay, well, <sighs> fair enough. Uh, where were we? Uh, yeah, that was about the tier list. I hope that is satisfying for all the people out there because you guys have been asking me a lot about tier lists and now I finally wanted to grant you that little wish because I thought about the whole thing too. Um, but yeah, it, it takes some time and uh, to be honest with you, I haven't finished any of the other tier lists. There's one, um, <laughs> there's basically just one panel opened on my Chrome account and this is about the mages so uh, what i'm going to do is i think i'm going to um find one tier list maker that has all the mages in there so that you're not going to get super confused because you've got all the 100 characters that you can play in arena of valor at the moment in one big file because i guess that's completely confusing and it's going to take a while because I will need to check. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, I've forgotten Jinnah. Oh, I've forgotten Raz. Oh, I've forgotten that, 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 that. Of course, what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to take super crazy things into account. I'm going to do my personal preference list on the terms of that is something that's going to be common. Of course, guys girls out there can play for example it's it's always the example they can play attack damage alice in the jungle of course you can do that but this is just not something i'm not going to do troll stuff so i'm trying to focus on what's usually played when i play arena of valor this is going to be what the stuff is consisting of i i guess that's understandable I mean, of course, you can always play Arthur support. But Arthur, in my opinion, is a top laner or a solo laner. It can be a jungler. Of course, Valheim can be a support. But usually Valheim needs support. So this is where all that comes from. Well, so far the game went pretty much back and forth, as you can see, just to hop right back into the game. Um, the game has gone back and forth, so as you can see, we've got uh, three towers already from the enemy. We've got some of the objectives in terms of dragons, and in return they smashed one tower, and we're sitting on a 11 versus 7, which is actually okay-ish, I suppose. Nothing, nothing too fancy here. Uh, it doesn't look like a total defeat for either of the teams. None of the teams has been stumped yet. And the enemy managed to get another tower as well. So, I guess that, that's a, an okay balance here. So, we've got the Sage buff right now. Level 12, so I'm a little bit ahead. Um finish the damage stuff now so now i can focus on the second ability as i already said i'm maxing the wrong one i mean maybe that's okay because i'm going in the jungle um usually on the solo lane you want to try to take as little damage as possible in the laning phase so that might be okay-ish that i uh focused on the first ability instead of the second one but we're going to see I mean, so far my results are not impressive. I'm sitting on 2-2-3, two, two, which is okay-ish. Like, it's decent. I killed the exact same amount of people as I have been killed. Uh, three assists, considering that we have already been taking 11 kills. Isn't great. Uh, it's not even 50% of that. And we're still about to build our build. So now, because of the Kali damage, I decided to go with Medallion of Troy right now, instead of Shield of the Lost. And I guess that's understandable as well, because we need some magic resistance. So while my team was about to 
to just occupy their towers i thought okay well that's just a good idea to clear their jungle entirely like steal wukong's entire economy and now i do what omen does really really well i'm going to split push a little bit before i go into the dragon to help out hayate and that model looks so amazing the holy dragon is looking so cool I mean, we've played quite a long game so far, and I haven't been on 30 stacks. Uh, so that's really a no-go. Need to get those 30 stacks right now. Wukong comes from behind, but immediately regrets the decision and turns back. And I don't know what was going on here. Um, I think complete... It looked like a lag. Uh, when we were playing the game, maybe there was just too much crowd control stuff like now in hindsight It kind of looks like he just accepted his fate But we don't know And here we go I got another kill so it's finally a double kill for me. I Think that was well deserved and I can just take that I can just take that one. Oh, this looks like another um like another afk leg but the game hasn't been that stable lately uh like for me it was always fine um but i see that there are some problems and now the whole results are looking a little bit different because now it's 16 versus 8 so we doubled the amount of kills in terms like in relation to the enemy's kills and as you can see we are pressing forward getting those last towers and then immediately crush the core because that is of course our mission so i'm still in this kind of scythe uh, mode so i've got no problem getting that tower uh we are about to jump them 13 minutes or 14 minutes already played and as you guys have seen the video isn't that long so it's going to be over pretty soon the only question is if uh will we get killed or is there a like is there a great comeback from the enemies or is this it uh here we go seven kills already like the last couple of minutes really di did well um in terms or in in um in relation to my personal result so i was able to get five kills in from the really uh, mediocre results so far and this is it no turning back or no comeback from the enemies as you've seen and that just means that we won the game and we won the game quite nicely Hayate is kill leader or is the most valuable player or person or people on today's game I think that omen skin looks ace and here comes my personal results 10.1 so I am second best player according to Arena of Valor with um, an okay participation damage taken was actually good damage to heroes was okay-ish and that is that I hope you guys enjoyed the video as I already said subscriptions and likes are super super welcome thanks for watching it and have a nice evening enjoy your weekend bye bye